The U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee on Wednesday cleared the Taiwan Policy Act with a 17 to 5 bipartisan vote. According to its sponsors, the bill is the most comprehensive restructuring of U.S. policy towards Taiwan since the Taiwan Relations Act of 1979. However, some of the bill's original proposals were either removed or made non-binding in the wake of misgivings from the White House. The renaming of Taiwan's de facto U.S. Embassy, the requirement of Senate approval for Washington's envoy to Taipei, and the designation of Taiwan as a major non-NATO ally became either non-binding proposals or were removed. Here is what Taiwan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs had to say after the vote. 外交部将持续关注台湾政策法案的后续进展，期待在这本届美国国会的有限会期中能够促成这项立法往前推进。According to the original proposal, calling Taiwan a major non-NATO ally would have helped boost arms sales. During the discussion, however, lawmakers changed the denomination to a so-called same-level relationship. This suggests that in the eventuality of a cross-strait conflict, the U.S. is not guaranteeing that it will provide military personnel assistance. According to Reuters, the U.S. is considering a sanction plan to deter China from using force against Taiwan. And sources have said that Taiwan has also been actively lobbying the European Union to take similar measures. While there is progress seen in the bill, the U.S. has also taken some steps back. As to comment on this issue, former Vice President Annette Liu, who is launching a peace and love parade in Taipei, said that you need to take medicine when you are sick. Yet it is not a matter of swallowing all the pills at once, hinting that passing too many policies at once will only anger mainland China. Following Wednesday's committee decision, the Taiwan Policy Act still needs to pass vote in the Senate and House of Representatives and receive approval from U.S. President Joe Biden before the conclusion of the 117th Congress on January 3, 2023, to become law. TVBS English News.